here back doing another malt experiment beer uh, what I'm gonna do right now is Kirk Sexton's beer he made some really cool labels and I don't know what it did with them so sorry Kirk I'll take a picture of the one I stuck on my cooler and uh, put that up and show it to everybody Uh, he used crisp Maris Otter. Nice hiss. I'm gonna leave it about right there. Made a nice khaki head. Looks like the rest of them dark. I think it's like uh, 30, 31 SRM, 40 IBUs. It's a good looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. I am noticing more malt backbone coming through on the Maris Otter than I have on uh, the Great Western or the Propino, which is to be expected because it is a, generally Maris Otter will give you a richer base malt flavor and aroma. Getting a little bit of, um, well, like on all these, I expect to get chocolate and coffee. Um, got that that is the same on all of them pretty much uh, the, the malt on mine was kind of buried uh, you can barely smell it same with Propino it was a little more on that one than it was on mine on this one definitely getting a richer malt backbone on it but it still smells very similar to the rest of them Smells very nice. Let's get into it. Cheers. Follows the nose. Definitely more malt action going on on this one, but it's still very dry, which is the way it's supposed to be. The malt balances the chocolate and the coffee notes of the stout a little more than it does on the other ones. The other ones are a lot more, not to say a lot more, but they were noticeably more heavy with chocolate and coffee. Getting kind of a baker's chocolate off this one and not so much coffee. Um, gets coffee on the nose, but more chocolate for it on this one with the taste. And I have let this beer sit out for about 25 or 30 minutes so it would warm up and be in the right range to drink it. This one's not quite as dry as the other ones. Um, it's still dry, but it's it's not to the point where you think you're getting crystal malt on it. Like uh, they recommend not using crystal malt at all on these dry stouts. It is more, um, it's got a little more richer flavor to it as far as the malt goes. Uh, which is nice. I like it. I mean, it's not a detractor at all. It's just if you use crisp Maris Otter doing this dry stout recipe, you're going to get more malt on it than you are uh, some of the other ones anyway. Just put it to you like that, which is kind of what I expected. It's real, great, real nice tasting beer. I don't drink stouts that much. I like them. I generally lead more toward uh, the big ones, American, uh, Imperial American stouts, Russian Imperial stouts. Um, this is pretty nice. I like these beers. I'm definitely going to be brewing this recipe again. And I'll just uh, wait till I get through these recipes before I forget which one of these malts I'm going to do it with next. Uh, very nice drinking beer. Uh, the Chris Maris Otter works really well in this recipe.
but it, I think if you wanted it to be really dry, I wouldn't use this. Mar I wouldn't use Maris Otter in it. I'd use one of the other ones. But if you want it to be a little more rich, malt flavor, then then do use the Maris Otter, especially this crisp it works real nice in it. We've got one other uh, Maris Otter in it, the Glen Eagles, and I, I fully expect that one to be a lot more rich uh, than this one because I've used that malt before and I do not like that malt using it for IPAs, but for like, I think it would work better in a Russian Imperial style of barley wine or an Old Ale, Scotch Ale, something like that. Uh, th that malt's almost got like caramel or crystal built into it. It's so rich. But the, the crisp Maris Otter tastes real nice in it, and I would recommend using it in, unless you want it to be super dry, then I'd use one of the other ones. I'm going to wrap this up, and I will see you guys on the next one. Cheers.